Hi YouTubers, this is Betty with Scrap Passion 01 and I'm so excited you guys. I'm so excited to share my Brooke Shields tag with you guys. As you all know, I have a giveaway challenge going on for a $50 money card. I will draw a name for the winner on uh, Sunday, November the 25th. So please refer to that video for more details. You still have time to participate if you like. So I just couldn't have a challenge without playing along myself. So I wanted to share the Brooke Shields tag that I created. I will share some of the products that I used to create this tag at the end of the video. So let's get started, you guys. My inspiration for this tag came from my image, Brooke Shields. Um, as some of you may know, um, Brooke Shields was known for her dark features, including her dark hair and her thick brown eyebrows. So I decided um, to create my tag using the brown tones. So the uh, paper line that I used to create this tag is um, from Ella Blue GCD Studios. And so here's my image here. And I printed her off on the internet or off, off of the computer and cut her out. I used some Prima Flowers um, to create just a little flower spray here. I also used some regular flowers here and here and used some Glimmer Mist to color those up. I have a butterfly embellishment here that's brown and shiny. It has like glitter um, on it. It came like that. And I created a stick pen. I'm so excited. Let me show you guys my stick pen. I don't do very many stick pens, but I was excited how this turned out. So I'm going to do some more of these. So, you know, I just felt like it needed something to kind of bring out the flower spray that I created. So I felt like it needed a stick pen there. So, of course, of course, I had to use some bling. I love bling. Um, I mean, I have bling on almost all of my projects. I just can't help myself. But I included some bling here. And also I have some little trim going here. And also at the very bottom of the tag, I have some dark brown shiny trim there. It's the exact same trim that I used here at the top of the tag to create this cute bow. So on the bow here, I also have a cute little gem um, stone in the center here. I have tool to, you know, at the top of the tag. I also have a cute little um, corner embellishment here. I thought that would just pull, you know, pull everything together. And I also included a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson, and it reads, It is a happy talent to know how to play. Isn't that, isn't that true, you guys? I saw that quote, and I thought, how appropriate. So I included that, and I used um, Vintage Photo for the whole tag and to ink up, you know, the edges for my quote. And here's the back, just the paper, and then I used the uh, Prima Flower there. So I may put this on my, somebody said, I saw a video that someone did the challenge. They said they may put theirs on, you know, on the Christmas tree, and I thought that was a neat idea. So I may just put mine on my Christmas tree. And also, I sprayed up Brooke Shields, let me see him get in frame with some glimmer mist. You can see she's all shiny. I just love Brooke Shields. And you guys, the Brooke Shields doll came out in 1982. I think I was like nine years old back then. And can y'all believe I went on Amazon and they had the Brooke Shields doll for like $35. I could not believe it. I am thinking so serious about purchasing um, that doll just to have it as a um, collectible item I just I just can't believe they had it on Amazon so I'm really thinking serious seriously about getting it but I just loved her she was very very popular in the um, 80s I mean she had movies I love the Blue Lagoon um, movie she was in I mean just awesome I just love love her and so that's what I wanted as a child was Brooke Shields doll. So, you know, of course I don't still have mine. So I'm thinking seriously about getting that one on Amazon just to say, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> so, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me share with you real quickly 
um, the items, some of the items that I used to create the tag. Um, I used this paper line, Ella Blue, and I got this from Hobby Lobby. And you guys, this is the prettiest paper ever. Let me see. I'll show you that. It is gorgeous. I love this paper. And I think Hobby Lobby have their papers 50% off. So I'm thinking about going by there tomorrow and see if they have another one of these. Because um, I just got to have it. This is gorgeous. It just creates such beautiful, beautiful projects. So that's the paper line I use. And here are the flowers. Uh, Prima flowers that I used. And I used this um, Delusions ink spray for one of my flowers. The one right here. Uh, I sprayed it. And, and it, I don't know if you can see that right there. And you guys, this is some powerful stuff. I mean, it is vibrant. I mean, good gosh. The name is really fits it. Vibrant Torquoise. I mean, this stuff. Ooh, this is the real deal here. So, and here's the chocolate one I used. To, um, this is the melted chocolate. And I sprayed that one for this flower right here. Can you see how, how that is? How dark that is? Okay, so I used that. And what else I used? I used um, the um, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. The, um, what do you call it? Dazzling Diamonds. And I used that to give everything, you know, some shimmer. So I think that's all. So if you guys want to participate in my giveaway challenge, you still have time. I'm not going to draw names until the 25th. So um, hurry up, get busy. And thank you guys, as always, for supporting my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your beautiful comments. I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed all already, please feel free to subscribe. I welcome new subbies. So thank you so much. You all have a beautiful and a safe night. Thank you.